Hello, hello, my beautiful population one people. Tamar nine one nine two one two. Thanks for the follow. Thanks for the uh, likes Thanks already for following. coming in. Thanks, guys. Uh, we are going to get started here in a tipsy tricksy takeover for another builder interview. Uh, currently inside of a Hobbit home here. Um, let me come outside here and uh, show you while I'm chatting with you. Uh, we've got a special builder in the house ready to roll and answer all of Taffy the questions. Taffy underscore dragon underscore and, uh, VR. And we've got a lot of you rolling into chat. Said. So as you guys are Sup. rolling in, the only thing I ask that you do is share out the content. Find somebody new or find somebody who has forgotten uh, to come on in and join us uh, so that we can explore this builder's experience of Population 1 and Sandbox. Uh, also have a co some cool news today. Um, let's see here. I have like uh 3.7k followers on Facebook. More cowbell, but today 520. In Twitch, I hit the 300. Said. So I just started in Twitch What's not up, too tipsy? long ago. Very Tiffins. excited that you guys are enjoying the content. So um, yay! I hit a, a 300 on Twitch. So that's pretty cool for me. And I just hit 301 because I just had a new follow. So thank you very much. <laughs> As we explore uh this special sandbox map, you might uh, recognize it because uh, this was a map build by, uh, built by one of our early uh, sandbox builders. Yes, I am venturing through the, the throat of a dragon here. Now uh, we're about in the belly somewhere. And we are going to come out the tail end. <laughs> Somewhere over here. Over here! <laughs> All right. And here we are to meet our builder, Tiffins. Hello, <laughs> Tiffins. How are Hello. you today? I'm doing good. Just very sitting good. here under a dragon. Okay. Yeah, I know. Uh, it, it's a very curious place that you decided to go um, in case anything <laughs> happens with this dragon. I hope we're not in uh, uh, the, you know, wrong zone. But uh Thank you for building this beautiful map. We're going to go through a series of questions, ask you a little bit about the map, some of your building experience, and uh, you're in control. So I'm here for the adventure of your sandbox experience. You think you're ready for this? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. We're yeah, good. that's right. That's how we do things. <laughs> That is how we do things. Okay. Um, and I've got to move the menu out of my way all the time. So we're going to start with the easy <laughs> questions first and uh, kind of roll from there. And if there's another map that you want to show me at any given time, we might be traveling there, chat. So come with me and make sure you guys are sharing out the content. You're welcome to be here as long as you guys are enjoying my content. And if you're not, uh, I'm sure there's somebody else streaming Population 1 for you to enjoy as well. <laughs> all right, Tiffins. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, where are you located? Um, I am in Kentucky, so in the mountains. Okay. Yeah. Very good. And mm -hmm. uh, do you mind sharing with us what you do for a living outside of playing Pop One? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm a hairstylist, uh, but I also make jewelry. So Ooh. I started getting into that last year, and now it's become like. I just have made so much jewelry. I'm like, well, might as well sell it because people oh, were trying to yeah. buy it. So yeah. yeah, where do you sell yes. your jewelry? Is it on like Etsy or or where do you sell it? On Etsy, mm -hmm. yeah, I sell on Etsy and Facebook. And recently had somebody reach out to me. They want to sell it out of their salon in another state. So oh, congratulations! They're buying from me and displaying. Yeah, thanks. Very good. <laughs> uh, do you want to promote where they can find you at Etsy? Um, yeah, if you want to find me on Etsy, it's my sacred adornments. Um, I do take requests, so I do a lot of custom work. I am like kind of flooded with custom work right now. Cool. So yeah. That's a good place to be though. <laughs> so for you yeah. those of you that are searching it right now, just write it down. Don't leave our stream to go look it up. Wait till after the stream. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you guys to leave chat to go do that, but uh, if you guys are interested in uh, Tiffin's makings, feel free to uh, journey that way and uh, check out her stuff. Um, so mm -hmm. how long have you been playing Population 1? Um, oh, I got on here, I've been here over two years now, almost, oh. uh, yeah, two years, a couple months, something like that, it started okay. in March. So, so yeah. right, right after yeah. it began? Yeah, right before they opened up the tower, yep. about a month before, 2021. I want to say. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, what level are you currently? 64. 
Nice. Congrats to that. That's a lot of hours of playing and you build too. So I am impressed. <laughs> wow. Um, and then uh, Tiffin's 89. We don't have to talk about the 89. That sometimes includes uh, age and things like that. But where did you come up with your mm -hmm. gamer tag? Where does Tiffin's mean to you? Um, it's actually a family given nickname. So oh. nobody, um, if you know me, nobody calls me Tiffany mm -hmm. ever. Like, no. If you call me Tiffany, you don't you don't really know me. <laughs> you don't even turn. That goes, but... They're like Tiffany. Yeah, and like, like it's... Na, 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 na. <laughs> well, it actually, I tell because I get kind of like hyper focused in game, and I'm like, if you need to get a hold of me in game, just say Tiffany because it mm -hmm. like totally derps me, and I'm like, who is calling me by my full name? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody Someone just knew. calls me like Tiff. Okay. Very cool. Mm -hmm. uh, and do you watch Population One streamers, the gameplay outside of building and playing and <clears throat> all that yourself? Um, I don't typically, unless I like kill somebody like Vape Life or Sumachi, then I'll go take a look. Uh -huh. Um, I do tune in sometimes on Space Roaches videos because okay. I just think he's. Okay. But I've never been one yep. to really watch the streams, but okay. if I, um, you know, sometimes I'll catch interest in uh, something and I'll check it out. Okay. But yeah. Any favorite uh, Population One streamer? I'd have to say Space Roach just because he is so fun to play against. Like we would just <laughs> sit there and go up against each other and games and then see each other in a few games and be like that was awesome and you know just <laughs> i don't know he's really fun to play against Very really good. uh he's good-hearted i like that's him. funny i was just telling you he just tried to invite me right before your yeah. interview he literally begged me to join him and i was like i really can't <laughs> <And> he's <laughs> like okay <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so in terms of uh, let's talk about building. Uh, how long have you been building and were you part of the early testing? <clears throat> um, yes, I was invited. I don't know who put my name out there. I never did find out. But um, Spike had reached out to me back in early August mm -hmm. uh, last year. So mm -hmm. I started then. Um, Love Trooper had already been here a few months and had, poor guy was alone forever. <laughs> but yeah. <clears throat> Very he good. He kind of showed me the ropes and yeah, it was, it was great. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I got to be part of early testing, but it was like, uh, probably the last month or two. So, um, mm -hmm. even though I got a, a taste of it, it was kind of like, I didn't go through some of the, I guess, torture that you early testers went through. Um, of just having too many <laughs> options or just not enough of something. Uh, so I kind of came into it after it had been seasoned by all of your guys' great ideas. And so, yeah, <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I always like hearing about the early days of uh, what building was like, because it sounds like it was a little bit of torture, <clears throat> a lot of fun, a lot of community building. Uh, but yeah, cool. Um, do you mm -hmm. play any other games that are, uh, that consume you full of, uh, building or some, you know, past games that you did building that you can compare sandbox to? Uh, the only thing which I hardly counts because I really was not, um, not a big gamer. I just really got hooked on pop one, but with my kids, I would go on Minecraft and we'd just build stuff. So Yeah. Minecraft okay. is probably the only building experience, but all I ever made there was a giant tree house, like a hollowed out tree. Mm -hmm. And I would just make my mansion inside this tree. And then I was like <laughs> done with Minecraft. <laughs> <laughs> After you build yeah. it, you were like, you better hope nothing comes in and takes it down because I'm done. <laughs> yes, <laughs> basically. <Okay>. Yep. <laughs> um, I also experienced Minecraft in the same way. I was like, I went in there and I was like, oh, it's like you could build your own house. And then my kids were like, no, watch what we do to your house. And it was like explosions and oh, creepers gosh, everywhere. Yes. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm done. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. No, thank you. <laughs> I think that uh, if Population One ever added some kind of explosion on a map, um, I, I would hope that it uh, doesn't explode forever. But I mean, what kind of cool feature would that be if you threw a nade and it, it took off half a building 
And then you went into a new match. Oh my gosh, that would back be together, so cool. But right, <laughs> you could actually demolish yeah, to where have, you are. Like, oh my gosh, that would be so amazing. Like <laughs> I would want to throw a frag over there at the Hobbit Homes right now and just see what it does. Uh-huh. You know, yeah, like, just see all the particles cool fly be? everywhere. Yeah, uh huh. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that would be pretty cool. <laughs> I just mm-hmm. thought of that. I don't know where it came from, but I think I would cry if I Two saw raiders my, uh, from building uh, kind of fall apart. for you underscore. No for you. Thanks for the Have raid. Joined. I appreciate that. Thank you for being here. We're here interviewing Tiffins, one of our sandbox builders. Uh, I'm going to scoot out real quick and come right back, Tiffins. If you guys don't yeah. know Tiffins, you probably know her from uh, her map of uh the giant dragon that you crawl through up here and uh what is this map called tiffins this is called middle earth middle earth okay so yeah that's who we are visiting with today kind of learning about her sandbox experience and uh let's see here let's talk about your inspiration for build because this one has some hobbit places in it it's got a giant (laughs) dragon and some eggs um, I've played this map a several times. Where do you get your inspiration for builds? Um, so for this one, um, I made this map when we were in the beta. So I didn't, um, there's only one map that, it, two, that I made afterwards. But, um, this one, I was actually watching the new Lord of the Rings show. I believe yeah. Amazon No soup for you, it. underscore. And I was like, man, Said, how cool would it be to, you know, make a good uh, map inspired by Middle Earth. Very loosely inspired because mm-hmm. I just, I really wanted Since coming into the beta, um, there was a map that I had seen in the beta where somebody had made dragons. Okay. And there were... We have the map, actually. Like miniature me... dragons? And you were like, I'm going to make a giant dragon. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to, I don't know. I just, I see something and I'm like, oh, yeah. I want to make a dragon that you can go inside. I do, yeah. I think I have the dragon's map. Let me see. Okay, I can bring great. us back here. I've got these little hobbit houses everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> oh, look at this. Okay, so okay. up, obviously, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know who made this, but again, it was in the beta, and it, this was Easy. one of the maps Easy. that first get a job. Um, shown <laughs> us a when we were first launcher. introduced yes. to the beta. Um, and there was like four of us that got onboarded at the same time, uh-huh. and so. Yeah a few maps and this was one of them and if you go inside the building there's like um this block right here i don't know if you've seen this before <laughs> um where it's it black and pink yes yep uh-huh. this is um an old asset yes uh-huh. so if you go inside okay. you can actually see what was what was here Hatchery. and it's oh, a little hey. Dragons. Yeah. yeah. Okay. In the hatchery, obviously, some eggs. So this is like kind of how it inspired you to make the giant dragon and eggs. Look at the baby dragons coming out. Yes. <laughs> They're yeah. When birthing. I first saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to make a dragon. Uh-huh. And then watching Lord of the Rings, I was like, okay. Yeah. This is how it. I'm going to make the dragon. Okay. <laughs> I totally get it. Very cool. Okay. Um, and do you focus on art or playability? More cowbell, 520. Um, Say, as an artist, I oh, think wow. art is like my first I remember thing. Like, that I want to envision it was a younger how kid it's going to be. This. And then as I'm making it, I'm thinking about how it's going to play. Okay. So it's kind of fairly equal. Although if you ask Love Trooper, he'll probably say, I like to just make everything pretty. <laughs> I've heard him say it <laughs> multiple times. Like, you, you make the pretty stuff. <laughs> well, there's nothing but, wrong with pretty stuff. I mean, shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like the pretty but stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. so funny. Definitely. Um, uh, I was, uh, I popped into a map where um, a couple nights ago where everybody was playing TDM and it was one of our um, well-known builders and he was, I think, hosting a lobby of different maps to jump back and forth to. And I was just curious what he was doing. So I popped into his lobby and I played a few and it was so funny because he, he goes, 
well, Tipsy isn't worth anything. She's admiring the map, so she's not going to do anything for our team. I'm like, that's so true. That's what I do. I come into these maps and I'm like, ooh, ah, ooh. <laughs> it's so hard for me to pay attention to these things around here, um, you know, trying to shoot someone. If if there's some things that I noticed that were built, you know, really awesome. I want to I wanna admire the maps. That's what I do. <laughs> we all have our, oh, yeah, our sure. things and and mine is uh you know not paying attention to gameplay <laughs> i don't know who mm -hmm. would want to eat a pile of grass but yum <laughs> see this this just shows what we were given to work with right yeah, here like exactly grass. you're like this is basically everything that was in the list right here cups parcel yeah. tables and some grass and we had to make it into salad <laughs> and we used these mm -hmm. lumps to make some chicken <laughs> Yeah, I mean that's some pretty good looking. Yeah, looks I like it could be bread, but yeah. you know. <laughs> oh, yeah, bread on a stick. Yeah, <laughs> and even the drinks have something in them. That's great. <laughs> oh, do they? I didn't even notice that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, See, sweet. Very advanced back in the caveman era. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody uh, should have made a wheel, <laughs> right? <laughs> uh, do you like to build by yourself, or do you like to build with others? Um, so when I first started, I think that's where my maps kind of came from is I did a lot of building by myself. Mm -hmm. So I have like two maps where I mostly built by myself, which I'll take you back to Middle Earth um, because I did have a guest there. Let's Ooh. head back there real quick. Okay. So, yes, when I um, first started building this map, I started right here. And this was the first piece that I laid out was this piece of this head. Okay. To decide how big it and, was going to be. Yeah. Yeah. And I was thinking, well, I knew I wanted to Hernandez use this as the base for the dragon. Seven. So I'm like, how do I do mm -hmm. it? And I'm just Said. like, I copy this, flatten Tiffins. it, and then I put it on both sides. And then I Great built the choice. head between it. Yeah. So that I she could so open it up and you could go into the mouth and... I love All of that, that you loveliness. can go into the mouth and the fact that you can't go into where like the, the fire is, but uh, you have to yeah. <laughs> go underneath it. It's so cool. It's so creative. I love it. Hernandez is here. Uh, he says, yeah, you're awesome. Pretty much. <laughs> no soup for you. <laughs> also says you're awesome. I mean, that's kind of how it rolls in these interviews. People come in and they say, yes, Tiffins. Thank goodness. Good choice. More cowbells here. Taffy Dragon is here. Uh, we've got a few <laughs> lurkers as well. And uh, Clay lives Hello, Clay Station. How you doing over there on Facebook? I appreciate you guys for dropping in. Uh, Tiffins is showing me a little bit about Sandbox and her build. So, um, yeah, continue telling me a little bit about this map a little more in detail as you were uh, kind of uh, going through your adventure of trying to decide how everything was going to be. Okay, so this all started with the dragon. So I'm just over here building the dragon and I had with me, where'd you go? Oh, I'm there you here. are. <laughs> I had Ghosty, um, which there's a few out there. His um, current name is I Ghosty. He mm -hmm. used to be Omega Ghosty. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, I know Ghosty. <clears throat> he was with me and he's just kind of hanging off in the background and I'm just like, we're building a dragon. Okay. Well, then he goes and builds. We named him Happy Horn. Okay. And you can find him. <laughs> uh, this could, um, he's kind of hidden, but he's not. If you're okay. hanging out over here in the middle, you can see him peeking over this mountain. But that's Happy Horn. So that is Ghosty's creation. He made that while oh, I was building the, the dragon. Oh, the guy. Okay. I don't yes. think I've ever noticed him before. <laughs> <laughs> you let him. You're like, yes, you can build, but you can only use this many pieces and no spheres. <laughs> yeah he just he randomly he made happy horn and he was like can you keep him Aww, <laughs> so i promised cool. i would never remove happy horn but i was uh -huh. like he's gonna be peak this mountain though <laughs> that's perfect that is cool <laughs> yeah Aww. so well i'm gonna he is one of it. the couple people that i've had build in my map okay okay We've got uh, these I did homes employ are really cowbell. nicely placed inside the mountain home. Um, very hobbit-like. I <laughs> like it. 
Um, all right. So describe like when you started building, can you describe the learning curve to maybe somebody who is, sorry, forgot that I was not in fly mode. <laughs> can you describe the learning curve to somebody maybe who is uh, thinking about joining Sandbox? What to expect? Um, I think, okay, so it, it can be rough, mainly, I think the hardest thing Tuffy um, underscore dragon to underscore learn VR. when you're building is Said, to keep everything lined up. I always wondered what the you horn guy to, was about. You want to toggle with the uh, grid a lot. So mm -hmm. with your left, if you're right-handed, um, you know, if you're left, it'll switch to the other side. But your mm -hmm. left um, toggle, you want to push it in, and that'll turn on and turn off your snap. Yep. That's... That's how everything kind of like when you bring it in, it's on the grid. I always, when I'm rotating things, if I want to do like 180, um, you know, any kind of rotations, mm -hmm. I always turn the grid Use on. The snap, okay. Um, because once you kind of go out of that, it's just like things stop lining up. It's such a headache, and you don't realize that things are off until way later, where you've like moved on. Yep. so far down and you're like why is everything tilted <laughs> and it, yep i i built it, a map like that actually <laughs> i built it yes. off grid and then as i was mm -hmm. uh, putting in a pool table the pool table was like it eh. i was like no. yes <laughs> <laughs> so that can be yeah. a huge headache so once people realize like okay stay on the grid mm -hmm. um how to keep everything nice and level and just you know, in line, it becomes a lot easier mm -hmm. to do. Awesome. But yeah, that's definitely one of the hurdles to overcome. And then it just kind of starts smooth sailing. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, why do you think people should explore Sandbox? They they get pop one, they decide they're going to play. Sandbox is an option. Sell me on jumping in and giving it a shot. <clears throat> Well, it can be used for all sorts of things. Um, like I have the map I can show you. Mm -hmm. Let me see here. This is a map that I have not finished because I have been lazy. I just need to stock it up, really. <laughs> but let me... <laughs> yeah, let me show you this. <clears throat> oh, we got a map by Tiff here. <laughs> Yeah, not many people know about this one. Um, full, uh, you know, fight map. This is specifically for training. Okay. Um, I built this to kind of be like a game um, where you get into this top tier. Okay. And you're going to have starting out over on this side, and okay. then somebody starts over on the far other side. Okay. This one's ending the fortress. And somebody else is going to be pushing. So you're given so many builds, and uh -huh. then you just got to push. I can have an M60, and I can be shooting those builds down. It's just a matter of um, trying to move back and forth between mm -hmm. the hardcover and builds to help um, keep yourself alive. Okay. As you, Once the person builds their way up here and they make it here, they're not trying to kill me. They're just trying to make it here. I'm trying to kill okay. them. <laughs> okay. This is a great clan map. Um, this is a great option for, yes. like, clan practice. Uh, or, you know, when you get placed in mixed dubs and you want to, uh, you know, prepare the same said, way. And kind of uh, maybe you're playing that's with a, a great brand idea new person for training and map. you uh, want to explore what their skill level is. Um, tell me about this giant one. Yeah, so what you do um, is you start up at the top, and okay. once you kind of graduate each one, you go to uh -huh. this little door in the middle, and it drops you down to the next level. So I've got this little, like, um, this little door right here, oh, and you yay, just kind of come down. This. You graduate. Da, 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 da. Yes. I feel and like so you should each put a ring level... here, so as you go through it, it goes chime. <laughs> <clears throat> right? Yeah. But definitely do that. But each level... Uh -huh um gets harder as you go down uh-huh so the um fortress is lifted there's less hard cover you're given mm -hmm. less builds the further you go down and then and take if you, you look down to here your side oh, okay <clears throat> yep yes 
Yeah, try to make it easier. Mm-hmm. And I've rated them all um, in stars. I'm going so, to the third star, To get guys. to the three-star <laughs> room. Yeah. <laughs> right here. So uh-huh. it just, again, it just keeps getting yes. harder. Yeah. Um, the bottom climb. level is supposed to be really freaking hard. Um, and if you wanted to play a room again and maybe, like, switch out, that's what I put these M60s here so you can clear all the builds. Mm-hmm. Okay. So Perfect. you can have all of that going on. And then here, <clears throat> I actually have all of these rings as kind of like a you have to build yourself up and go through the ring to grab whatever yes. items in there. Yes. Okay. And then you nice. just keep pushing. But you I have like to go sounds. up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You have to go like up and through right. the ring for it to count. So that's why I put things like shield or stuff that you can grab uh-huh. to prove that you went through the ring. I like um, this. But yeah, just getting more and more difficult to help people who really want to build their skills with um, pushing with builds. Yeah. Um, to keep themselves from dying or whatever it is that they're trying to do. But yeah. And uh, when do you plan to have this published? When are you putting it out there? It currently is published Mm -hmm. because I had to publish it to properly test it. Okay. Um, I just need to go in. So it should be copyable if anybody wanted to mess with it and tweak it. I just have to go in. I think on this side I have to fill in um, more of the uh, items in there like heels and builds Mm -hmm. and stuff. But Mm -hmm. this whole right side should be complete, I believe. Okay. Very cool. but, But, yeah. Nice so yeah, this work. is just one reason people should do sandbox. There's so many others you could do um, meetings uh, with your clan just to like meet up. You could do yep. like random stuff like streamers, I think, could really um, utilize the platform if they wanted to do something like dumb, like a little um, what you call it, like blind dating or something, you know, just yeah, like yeah. fun little game little show. skits. Raging Handicap yeah. wants to do a skit so bad. He needs some people that are interested that want to do kind of just some <laughs> uh, role playing. Uh, he has all of these different, he's been sharing some of his ideas and they're pretty awesome. And he's like, people just like want to come in and role play with me. I'm totally down to do some of them. He's like, I'll record them, yeah. I'll put them out there. We'll look like dummies all together and it'll be a good time. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, very much so. Mm-hmm. Birthday parties. Um, we do a lot of uh, celebrations for the people in VR that we get close to and um, want to celebrate in large groups. And I've done a few birthday party uh, days on stream where we are venturing around sandbox levels and having a really good mm-hmm. time. So, yeah. Okay. Yes. Um, mm-hmm. uh, let's see here. What would be, when you're building, uh, what would be the top feature that uh, people request Ask in a Clown map? VR said... Oh, VR Martin is making a machinima TV map. show using Pop One. I honestly don't know that people request things for me. I'm just kind of like on my own. Okay. Um, when it, my own maps, but uh, others people, other people's maps. I just try to help them uh, make everything look nice, but mm-hmm. also try to focus on the abilities. So I'm like. Um, my friend Brian, you'll know him, B. Wayne Coleman is uh, his tag, but I'll go into him his maps. He tells me all the time it needs a woman's touch. I'll go <laughs> and I'll take what he's got, move it around like, okay, you got some open areas here. Let's kind of move this stuff around and, you know, it's more playable. Mm-hmm. Um, that So I think... What I want, at least, when I'm looking at a map is something that's not just wide open space. I want to make okay. sure it's that's my biggest concern is making sure that it's not too out in the open, yep. that everybody's not part, that everybody's not spawning right next to each other all the time or mm-hmm. nobody's getting camp. So that's kind of like my biggest concern. And I would imagine that's other people's. Yeah. Or at least up. Yep. Lady um, underscore gaming about, underscore here. one. I would like you to said, teach me something. What in up, sexy? Um, do you have anything in mind that you could teach me <clears throat> that would be handy? Or uh, maybe I already know, but a new builder might want to know. Oh, okay, okay. 
I could teach you how to build something bad. One. Okay. <laughs> Thanks um, for subscribing. Thanks for the stuff, <sighs> lady. <laughs> so building, let's see. Here's here's how I'm gonna teach you. We're gonna build a teddy bear. Oh sweet. Okay. Okay. Love it already. <laughs> <laughs> and talk me through as you're pulling pieces what you're doing. Okay, so um, depending on, and I'm sure this is common knowledge, but so when I want to copy and use them like hotkeys, um, I want to copy a piece to the left of this. So I copy, um, I'm clicking like right here mm -hmm. to get it to pull to the left. Same for if I want it to pull to the right, I'll click right on the right side. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to click on both, select both and kind of like make them smaller. Oh, you can scale things together. Oh yeah. yeah. You well, can. yeah, I guess when you're piecing things and you want to shrink them, that makes sense, yeah. <laughs> and if you notice, like I have my snap on and so it just kind of snaps yep. as you see it, but if I turn it off, it's gonna, well, I'll should. All over the place. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh. but um, so teddy bear. And then I'm going to click on the bottom to get it to spawn down there. Mm -hmm. And let's see. Yeah, whatever. We're going to say this is bad. So at this point, you stop what you're doing. You're like, okay, I cannot build a teddy bear. It's so bad. Mm -hmm. Hop on Facebook or Discord, somewhere where the builders are. They're so willing to help. Just go and ask for help. If you are having trouble building something, they will come and they will help you out. Ooh, like they won't even corner. just tell you. They will come and help you. I have enlisted um, <clears throat> help from Thanks Cowbell. Follow, baby love. <laughs> I will show you this map and looking at your previous interviews, it may mm -hmm. make you crazy and I'm so oh. sorry. Uh-oh, we're going to space, aren't we? Are we going to space? Yes, we are. Woo! We are. Hey, I'd, I'll take space over squid. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Any day. <laughs> we're going to go to space, guys, and I'm going to leave my uh, builder mode on so that I do not fall. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I, I can handle crookedness. It's just the, look at that guy. How cute is that? <laughs> He's got a. You made a weapon. Lady underscore gaming oh, underscore this, one. Uh, away here. Said. They have weapons. Yeah. I could use some <laughs> yes. squid that this, would this blow is your Calbell. mind. I tried to make an alien. Okay. And I was like, Cowbell, I need your help. I need an alien. <laughs> you make. Yeah, he makes such awesome creatures, and I'm like, uh -huh. I want them cartoony looking, and I know that you can make an awesome alien, and he made me three, mm -hmm. and I am like. Oh, and so we both, um, so I let him do his thing. He made them their guts and everything. Like, uh -huh. they're so great. <laughs> and so I'm kind of and building away doing my. And you here with the little alien guy kind of peeking down, letting us know. Oh, God, I'm going to have to go out there, huh? <laughs> Aww, <laughs> they're so cute. <laughs> All right, I'm ready. Yeah. Come show me the map. <laughs> <Whew>. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um well this this little map it actually um this is pretty. these little signs show you uh -huh. where you can find good weapons so this one you gotta uh -huh. look for that planet. the little alien peeking over the building that yeah planet. the planet okay. and then yep okay I see. and so then you'll come down here and all of these are red weapons mm -hmm. so yeah. Very cool. Um, <clears throat> How easy and then you've got is the same and... pretty high on this one? Like, I see that once you uh, drop, it looks like uh, there's a nothingness down there. We'll go ahead and look. Are you ready, yeah. chat? Here we go. Nothingness is down there. Yep, I closed my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, because when you die to the nothingness, then you just come back up here and you're good. Uh -huh, but you can uh -huh. only go so far, because that, that zone is going to kill you. I love the colors in this map. I love that it's very bright. Um, it almost kind of dissolves the fact that there's black nothingness underneath us. Um, mm -hmm. How did you hide the, like, I assume this is the moon map? Yes. 
Um, okay. What I did, I'm like hide the here. zone, the regular yeah. zone. Yeah, how did you hide the the moon? <laughs> the giant mound. Oh, I borrowed that from um, Caldo. His oh, idea, I believe okay. it was. It was on one of his maps, the uh -huh. um, lily pad map. Okay. Yep. He wanted to hide the um, background mm -hmm. and built something that looked like stars from far away. Okay. So that's kind of how okay. he covered it. So down here, it's just a bunch <laughs> of balls and some, uh -huh. just a uh -huh. wall. But There's yeah, from moon. up there. You... Okay. Okay. Yeah. And what I did was when you're playing in the game, I absolutely hated how the zone looked. Mm -hmm. So, um, cause you know, the, the zone, uh, the actual zone. So mm -hmm. I took my map above the zone. I went as high as you can possibly go uh -huh, to in the, the game. Map. Yes, because you can that only go sense. so high until your cursor starts going through your um your builder. Yeah, okay. And you can't click things. So I went Look as high your... as I could, and I built just under it, so that You've when got, we like, played during the game, the zone wouldn't shower. light up the sky. Like, yes. This yes. is cool, Tiffin. I love it. I'm sorry I interrupted you. I didn't mean to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just oh, like, Oh, no, you're Ooh. good. <laughs> So you this got your map spaceships and everything. This is cool. Yeah, right, right, here. Okay right here. <laughs> <laughs> There's actually um a hidden theme in this map. And the theme oh. is so the blue planet, uh -huh. um, that's where all the blue spaceships come from. And then the gray planet, that's where all the silver spaceships come from. So okay. it's a war. Okay, but it's see now be like for the families, and it's uh -huh. because these two little guys Is that over here. Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> Star crossed lovers. Uh huh, uh huh. He's all. Yes. <laughs> never, let Jack, never let go, Jack. Never let go. I'm sorry. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> yes. So these are the little star crossed lovers, and uh -huh. they were passing each other little love notes, and they were spotted. Uh -huh. And so this alien ship is now blowing up the planet that they were on. Perfect. And he's like, no, yeah. and reaching out. Me and Cowbell <laughs> had a had a trip with this one. I like <laughs> that. A little bit. <laughs> it oh, was, yeah. This is a great addition. I like that story. I like this map. Uh-huh. <laughs> Very nice work. Um, how long did this mm -hmm. one take you to build? Oh, Lord. Well, this this is not the first version of this. Mm -hmm. So um I can actually use this to show you how far we've come Perfect. as far as when the I first love this. um it cracked the planet yes. here and it exploded. Nice mm -hmm. animation there. <laughs> and so let me go ahead laser beams. Pull up. I'm gonna load it. Space. We're gonna okay. go see the earlier version of this map. Mm hmm Oh wow. Okay. This is the first version. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is back in the beta. Mm-hmm. And um what was done here, how how I even came to this map was Gunhor was showing me a map that he had made for um, his lady um, boots. Uh-huh. And there was a little star in it. Uh-huh. And so he's showing me this map that he had made for her, and I'm looking at this star like, oh, my gosh. I want to make it like one space. of these stars? Was it one of these yes. stars? Yes. Uh -huh. So... This all started with one of these stars. Okay. It was actually this one or this white one. Mm -hmm. It was one of these two stars. And I just, I saw his star and I wanted to make one like it. And I think I added more spikes around it, mm -hmm. but I really liked his star. And so I, I took the idea of his star. I was like, hey, I'll be back in a minute. I, I really intended only to make a few stars and kind of, you know. Yep. And then two hours later, I made this. So wow. this was like me hyper-focusing on yeah. creating all of this 
and two hours later, this is what I made. Yeah. The, this is crazy. The newer map. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but this is, I've used every single um, asset that they had available as yep. far as, like, um, the colors and everything that you could use. So all the textures that we had available are in this. Okay. Because I tried to add as much... Um, color as i stuff. could yeah this is great yes. i love seeing like the before and after that is really cool the transformation is like i mean it's literally a night and day thing because this looks like day and the other one looks like night <laughs> it's like day to night yeah very cool yeah. and you're outside here first you created like its own dome to be in is that right yes because this is mm -hmm. before we were given a nighttime or outer space oh, so i okay. built it out here so if you come out uh -huh. Uh -huh. Um, you can see the green grass well this is yeah. much better than the space <laughs> 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 not your design not your design that's not what i'm saying <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh yeah and cool. when i first built it it was actually off to the side of the map uh -huh. this was an older um version that i had saved before i had moved it over but I had moved it over because I had discovered before we were given the um, the little kill boxes. I forget what they're called, but mm -hmm. uh, where they can kill you. Mm -hmm. um, if you had moved outside of the regular map and down to a certain level during gameplay, it would start killing you. And okay. so um, me and Love Trooper were talking and we're like, let's let's move the map over there so that if anybody falls below a certain point in this map, they'll start dying. OK. And All I right. wanted to do it kind of like as a ha ha. Like uh -huh. they didn't know uh -huh. they're going to start dying. And we did that and that <laughs> became like. Yeah. And then it could actually happen with the new map. Mm -hmm. And the only reason that the new version of this was made is because Weller had asked me. I think more than once. <laughs> uh huh. To recreate it. To recreate it. it. Okay. Yeah. Because Very this cool. one was so broken that it couldn't be played. Okay. So it's still kind of broken now, but yeah. What about any mm -hmm. uh, fails that you've made or any bloopers, uh, maps that you're just like, yeah, that was published once or this will never be published. <laughs> uh, I'm a little embarrassed about it. Or maybe like a first build where you put together a few shapes and it was like, eh, maybe not. <laughs> so let me see if I have it. I don't know if it's trip or trippy. Hmm. Not sure which one it is. I'm just going to click one and we'll see what okay. happens. We'll guess. We'll my, see if it goes. <laughs> yeah. My dying hope to help people out. Okay. <laughs> okay. This, yeah, this is it. Mm -hmm. So this is um, my version of Cowbell's trippy map. Yep. I remember this. I was trying to find ways to, like, put stuff in because, you know, I don't want everything kind of open. And it felt so open. And I'm like, there's got to be, oh, you know, to... trippy uh -huh. looking. So I started messing around with these. And if you go up above the map, you're going to see how much time I spent just messing it up. Whoa. <laughs> oh, this is even more trippy. <laughs> Yeah. These are, oh so, my God. I've never seen so many <laughs> rotations in my life. <laughs> yes. I, I was messing with all sorts of ideas trying yeah. to, um, figure Talk something out. Inception here. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Um, it's pretty, thankfully, I mean, wow. What a lot of work. <laughs> yeah. And it was really just like boredom. Like, can, can I make something? that will actually benefit this map and Thanks the answer was cheers, no vr <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no <laughs> so, <laughs> kind of a fail here but um i love your attempt it's actually very artistic too and i i love the fact that you took uh another person's map and kind of like challenged yourself uh to fill in the gap yeah um i like the uh, artistic mm -hmm. thought to it but i see what you mean like it would be mighty hard to create something to like fill in this space. <laughs> mm -hmm. Maybe when There's they come no up with a breakable glass or something. <laughs> right. 
where you can run through like, and it can a- make the breakable glass sounds. Ching, ching, ching. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. I also have this. Let me see. I was trying to start a map before before I interviewed with you. Uh-huh. I was like, okay, let me, I need more maps in my uh-huh. map list. <laughs> and so I was going to try. Oh, yeah. Make- Is it the Alice in Wonderland door? Yeah. Um, <laughs> cool. <laughs> and then I just kind of got stuck. Uh-huh, and uh-huh. so I think I may eventually make the Alice in Wonderland map. Oh, I think that would I want to adorable. Ma- We've got the skins for it. Yeah. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. For mm-hmm. sure. I want to make the more I'm I kind of say, this- if a big box created a Cheshire cat, um, just saying, um, I would wear it all the time, and this would be my favorite map. <laughs> just <laughs> well, saying. that's actually why <laughs> I s- <laughs> down here and find it. Uh-huh. I don't think oh. I can find. But I had saved a block um, Mm -hmm. from the map that I originally saved this from. If you look at this piece over here, it's actually a glitch. And the reason that I started all of this, because I wanted to build a pathway on this, because when you walk on this piece Mm -hmm. and you're not pointing your, you know, pointing at it. Mm And it's a glitch. It's a piece of a map from that was theory, her map, mm-hmm. where she had. And I was going through her mind, kind of looking through the copies of maps that I had. Mm-hmm. And I was going through and look, and um, I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm saving that. And so it probably it doesn't do the same thing for PC that it does for um, Oculus. So I don't uh-huh. know if you can actually. I might have um, to come back in and uh, check it out on standalone because uh, I see the yes. a very round piece. But I know that there's a way uh, that uh, Waste of Fox showed me last night. If I clicked on the block that is somewhere existent, um, that uh, I can actually see things that standalone can see. It was very cool. Um, but oh, I see neat. that. Is this like a um, dual piece here? It's like snow and something else, and so it's creating a different texture? This is a flattened mountain. Okay. Oh. But, oh my gosh, I wish I could um, show you mm-hmm. in uh, um, the Oculus version, but it is glittering. All of the cracks are glittering pink and lime green. Ooh, and it okay, looks like I can true see glitter. the cracks, but I can't see the colors. Yes. Yeah. Okay. They're all outlined oh, yeah. in pink and lime green glitter Ooh. that are just sparkling. Okay. I like that. That will be very cool if you can add that somehow to the map. <laughs> That's very Alice in Wonderlandy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, I like your idea here. I hope you do continue with it. The door is, uh, yeah, that's spot on. I like it. <laughs> Uh, I'm excited to see if you do finish this one. I would love to see you. I mean, like I said, if they just create, you know, they've got the rabbit, they've got the queen of hearts, they've got, they've got several characters that fit right into the, uh, Alice in Wonderland thing theme. They just need the yes. Cheshire cat and they do not have a skin that has a tail. So I'm just saying big box, <laughs> I'm not the only one requesting it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, so let's see here. What is your favorite map that you made? Probably the more up-to-date space map. Mm -hmm. I really like it. It's beautiful. And I'm glad Weller pushed me to make it. I, it took a while for me to do it. Um, your original question I never answered. It took me about a week to a week and a half, Mm -hmm. um, to make the second version. And I was just really really happy with it yeah so i can see why it's beautiful and colors and the theme of it and now that i know the story to it just a really great overall map i like it um Mm -hmm. let's see here what about uh dev maps are there any dev maps that come to mind that uh, you think are pretty great or your favorite oh um not really (laughs) (laughs) not no fair answer uh 
<laughs> yeah, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry, Debs. <laughs> yeah, no. What about uh, other builder maps? Is there any uh, other builder map outside of your own that you're just like, this is like the best map ever? I love this map. Oh, gosh. There's so many um, good ones and so many great builders. I love, I don't think there's a single map that Weller and Cowbell have made that I haven't absolutely loved. Okay. Um, they make really great maps and Love Trooper. Gosh, all of his are fun to play. Mm -hmm. Like that's that's his focus, and they're so good. Mm -hmm. Crash Landing, great, absolutely great gameplay. That was one that I helped him with. That oh my gosh, because I will help with the most tedious work. We calibrated those doors for hours. <laughs> those doors, man. I love oh it. Oh, my God. <laughs> if you guys are uh, a little OCD or attention to detail is very important to you, Sandbox is the place for you. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> if you've seen uh, Love Trooper's glass maze... Mm -hmm. Not the not the maze that um he led you through. <laughs> yeah, okay. But the glass maze, I spent so much time lining up every corner and getting them like perfect. And Is it's that just the one like... that I that's not the one that I started in. <clears throat> and it's it's not the one that he showed me. It's a different one. The glass maze, he showed you a version that wasn't published. Okay. And it's the one with all the blue walls, but when yes. you're actually playing, you can't see them all until you uh -huh. run up on them. Okay. You can see everybody from really far away. Yep. That one was, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. I, it was, it was like fun. Like I was telling him, I you know? remember playing mm -hmm. that game, and I could see somebody far away, and I was shooting at him. I'm like, that's hitting a wall. What the? <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it was so hard to get through it to find them. And we were literally this mm -hmm. close, and there was a wall between <clears throat> us. And I'm like, nah. <laughs> yeah, oh, he okay. he just makes such great maps. I think it's so funny. The most simple map that I think is out there is, to me, the most fun. And it's a Love Troopers pins map. Mm -hmm. And it's just these posts, like these little pillars. Yep. But you're just throwing yourself around, shooting people. It's craziness. You're going up and down, horizontal, vertical, travel everywhere. Yep. And it's insane, but it is so much fun. I he but had your me arms play it. Hurt. Yeah, he had me play it, and I Did was he? like, <laughs> Yeah, he had me play it while I was trying to ask interview questions, and I was like, <laughs> Like, okay, I am a woman of one thing at a time. <laughs> I'm not one of these. I, I can I multitask and do a million yes. things. No, that's not me. <laughs> yes, I was wow. listening to uh, that interview. I think uh -huh. I was washing dishes, and I uh -huh. heard you struggling, and I'm like, Poor love, stop shooting her. <laughs> <laughs> she can't. <laughs> yes, I think, like, I think he did it to see if I had a and, sense yeah. of humor. Good thing I do. <laughs> Good thing I do. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's great. Uh, do mm -hmm. you work on one map at a time? Um, do you like to work on multiple maps at a time when you have different ideas? How do you uh, start your build? Oh, I am a one at a time. If I start working on multiple, then it's like... Mm -mm. I'm already bad enough where I'm like, I'm in one map. I was working on that house. Somehow I came over to this wall and I'm like, this is what we're doing. And then I'm like, no, I want the kingdom to be the uh -huh. centerpiece. And now uh -huh. I just stopped it entirely because I'm like, the kingdom is in the centerpiece. I got to move the kingdom. <laughs> kingdom we just got to have the forest all around it. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. then I just kind of paused and I'm like, we're just going to fail this Leave for now. And come back. Maybe I'll come back. <laughs> I hope you do because that, I mean, I, I keep looking at that door and I'm like, yes, on point. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, I hope you do. Um, what about when you're building? Do you like to listen to music? I know you said uh, sometimes you build alone, but sometimes you have folks with you. Do you also build and listen to any kind of music <clears throat> or enjoy a, an adult beverage? If I'm alone, it's either music. I don't really drink except today. Mm -hmm. But um, I just went out and had a margarita. Nice. But, um, oh, yeah. It was nice for about 30 minutes. Then it wore uh -oh. off. <laughs> <laughs> and then but, you're like, uh, God, why? <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't very strong. But, mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah, so I'll listen to, like, music if I'm alone, mm-hmm. which I don't really build alone anymore. Um, usually, I do a lot of building with uh, B. Wayne Coleman. Um, I think he's my favorite to build with. I'm going to sneak peek my version of a map of his that I helped him out with. Oh, cool. Okay. Where is it? Hollywood. Probably heard of it or seen it. I have not seen this that I know of. Ooh. Oh, really? Then I'm going to feel bad if you I interview him and he shows you. Think. Oh, my God. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Oh, this So this is, is one cool. that I helped him with. Yep. This was just kind of me. Um... I come in here and I see something like Blockbuster mm-hmm. and I think, okay, Brian, we got to break Blockbuster. Blockbuster's out of business. Let's break it down and put a red box in mm-hmm. front of it. And so this is, this is kind of how I, I come in and quote unquote help <laughs> stuff like this. I just break, break Blockbuster or um, I put crazy. in a 18 wheeler moving stuff out of it, you know, in the background. So we mm-hmm. got stuff like this. Okay. Um, or like I put these cars here trying to, um, you know, put things in the way, but I didn't just want to put something out in the open. So I had them being blown up. Yeah. Um, so stuff like that, just (laughs) random. You get to do the fun, creative part. You're like the person that, uh, the builders call when they have kind of the, the set ready for, uh, makeup. (laughs) Yeah. Like, All right. This, makeup. Like, come on in, Tiffins. <laughs> yeah, that's I. I love Brian because he'll let me come in and I'll be like, "Oh, this is a good idea." Like, uh-huh. he had um, <laughs> what he had, the Ninja Turtle standing over here, and he was like, "I'm gonna build um Darth Vader." Uh-huh. And I'm like, "How cool would it be if they were in a fight?" So he takes the Ninja Turtle, moves him up here, <laughs> he and I'm like, "Ooh, you could have Vader. like Vader just." tearing apart this little subway system the dark rail whatever it is Uh and so we just start building it so that he's like slicing through it and it's just like really just neat thing that love Um, it (laughs) so he oh my god he's such a good built all of these creatures freaking king kong man Mm -hmm. and et i love et yep i don't know (laughs) yeah oh my god yeah i can see why that it would be fun to uh build with him because uh if you get to do makeup on all of these things oh my gosh and i even miss the up house is even in here my goodness i am going away (laughs) how fun for you okay love that um what do you think uh if if you could tell big box to add some items to sandbox what would those items be Um, you've probably heard this one before, but definitely a color wheel. Mm -hmm. Um, we so need that because the colors that we're given are just so like, ugh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's not really, you want different shades of colors and we're just not really given, um, that that. we work with what we've got, but my goodness. Um, but I personally would really like um to be able to free form like i think that would really just kind of any kind of setback from what we have i think that would really just break through is just have the ability to free form items mm-hmm. um but more so i think what i would like most is for people like me and b wayne coleman uh is the ability to share your map with your friend. Mm-hmm. Make a map shareables, both go in and edit it, and it saves for both of you. Mm-hmm. So we can edit times. Like, that would be amazing mm-hmm. to not have to go back and be like, okay, I came in and I created stuff here, save my version. And yeah. so your console. Yeah. 
you can't just jump Version. in and out of the same map like uh like sort of like SharePoint for Microsoft products <laughs> where you could just yeah. save one item and everybody can work on the same item and you know it gets saved in one spot and yeah that's kind of what we're looking for is uh some kind of platform mm -hmm. that it allows us to uh work off of the same save the same uh even mm -hmm other people being able to join um, that have maybe access to the map. Maybe uh, you can assign builders who have a part in it. And those are the people that can utilize it. I mean, there's gotta be a way. Yeah. Yeah. To assign roles. Like, mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. That would be so good. Um, let's see here. Do you build maps or help with maps that have secrets in them? I like the hidden doorways, the hidden weapon stashes. Do any maps come to mind? Oh, I don't want to do it to Brian's map, but oh. he does have um secrets in here. We're just we're not gonna okay don't with share my it. maps. Yeah, no, yeah. I won't. Um, with my maps, I think the most secretive part is for one, we've got Happy Horn that was hiding. Mm -hmm. Um, that was that was little. Mischievous. Let me pull up space again. So okay. prepare. <laughs> <laughs> prepare. <laughs> if you guys are just <laughs> joining, we're nearing uh, the end tail of our interview with Tiffins, our sandbox builder here for Population One. Uh, she's sharing her sandbox experience and her builder knowledge with us. And uh, we're going to go look at uh, uh, a secret or a hidden something. Show me. Where is it? <clears throat> must know it's really <laughs> it's really open and out in the open it's just people don't notice it and we okay. had kind of gone through this but it's these signs they show you yep. where yep. the red guns are got this mm -hmm. you just look for the planet with the little alien peeking and then this one shows you over here to look for the alien that's being blown up mm -hmm. <laughs> so back back over there you've got um a line of red guns um on the back of that uh, building. Um, as far as anything secret, it's not really, there's not really anything that I use for secretive kind of mm -hmm. stuff, except kind of run into things like on the sun. If you come over here, you'll see I placed a few spots on the sun where there's this um, little kill box that okay. will hurt you. And uh, what so, percent of hurt? <laughs> they vary. Okay. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> so I've got them um, on a couple spots in the yep. sun, and depending Which on where sense, you hit, you guys, it might the hit sun. you. <laughs> yes. I mean, I don't so think you, might you should find... be crawling around on the sun in the first place, but. <laughs> oh, but the sun is so fun for like, um, if you do DT only uh -huh. or DT and snipes in this map. It's so fun because you either got people sniping each other or they're uh -huh. all running to the sun. I personally can't stand the DT. I don't like it. But <laughs> I can't playing load it. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. But playing DT on this, on the this sun, fun. so much fun. Okay. Like, oh, I could see that. I would have never thought. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely cool. a lot of fun. I really <laughs> enjoy it. Uh, how do you get your maps noticed or how would you tell a new builder, uh, to reach out to get their maps noticed? Um, if you want to get them noticed, you can, um, <clears throat> what I did, there's multiple options. So you can go to discord, post it on there on the builders group. Mm -hmm. Um, you can post it to the Facebook group, either the community, although the community isn't more interested or I would I would say more interested. You could go <laughs> to um, builder uh, focused community okay. on Facebook. That would be where where you know the builders are. They're more interested in that, mm -hmm. and it's more focused on that. Um, what I did with the space map, I think I posted it on the community on Facebook, but I more so just kind of went and I looked at open rooms where people were hosting their own rooms. And 
oftentimes they'll request they'll ask if anybody has requests and sapphire 28 89 just to get this one scene gaming. when i first made it because i really needed Said. people to test it Tiffins. and find a full room Love and that's YA. a whole lobby of people to test it VR so, Central. <laughs> yeah i think that that worked best because you well, already found people in there you didn't have to go gather triangles people. you just find a room that's open and the um, central when they ask you know what Said. would you like to do next throw your map it's not 10. like intrusive yeah, okay. Um, Ask Clown Don't be like, do my next and, you know. Said, yeah, don't don't be that person. Be like, I have PTSD <laughs> from building with triangles. Like, do mine, please do mine. LOL. Help me. For the love of God. More cowbell, 520. <laughs> that's well, that's, that's fine. Said. <laughs> but yeah. Oh, wow. Uh, Definitely give other people night. their turn. But yeah. <laughs> VR Central. Mm -hmm. uh, my chat is Said. catching up because I think my speech chat it's turned like off for a second. It's like that Rick and but, Morty uh, world we're gonna where keep everything going. was on a call. Uh, we're at the point where I'd like you to is on give a, a nice shout out to builder friends that have helped you along the way so um this is your floor to say thank you okay so the first ones that helped me um that's gonna be cowbell and love trooper i think they were the main ones uh mm -hmm. that really helped me out and kind of like understand uh what all i was doing uh that was theory um She's amazing. Absolutely amazing builder. Um, she really helped me into figuring out the snap and using the snap to kind of um, move things around and create, you know, <laughs> my fail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> she helped me kind of figure out how you can rotate things and um, move them and keep it all kind of accurate and spacing and all of that. Mm -hmm. And uh yeah, so they're all awesome builders. They definitely helped me out, but um, yeah, okay. uh, there's many more, but I'd say top three. <laughs> Very good. All right, now here's the most important question, or maybe most difficult question oh, that everybody's kind of waiting for. You know what it is. You know what it is. Who oh, God. is your favorite builder? And if it makes you feel uncomfortable, you can list a couple. Or you can do what some others it, have done and just blend everybody's name so it sounds like one. Cheaters. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of really depends. Like, I feel like if you're you're wanting to be, like, wowed, um, <sighs> Taffy has some amazing amazing builds and i've looked at some of his and i'm like how did he do that like i just i can't even fathom some of the things that he's done and how he's made things look so freaking good um but then it it, it really depends like how do you choose a favorite because like if it's somebody that i just want to hang out while they're building we've got ass clone or i like pies Freaking mm -hmm. love her. She's amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, <laughs> more cowbell. If I want something that's like just really fun and kind of takes me back, he takes me to these um kind of places like with the minions and just like oh my gosh, like seeing stuff like that just takes me back to a time. Seeing him create little fighting scenes of the minions in front uh -huh. of the tower uh -huh. and his built like that just <laughs> blows my mind um awesome. to build with i've got brian which i freaking love building with brian he is amazing mm -hmm. like as a human and everything like to talk to to build with he is such a good guy like he is totally underrated as far as like what he can do because he is such a great builder Mm -hmm. Um, I wish he was more known, but I think he's kind of getting more out there. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, and just Weller and Love Trooper for if you want to play a game that's just fun to play and looks good. Like Weller has the most clean looking freaking maps ever. Mm -hmm. Um, and they're so precise with uh, his recreation. Taffy underscore dragon underscore VR. And Love has, like, said, really just really fun maps to play. Brian is so, a like, how guy. do you even pick a favorite? It's like, yeah. pick a favorite for what you're feeling at that time. Yeah, or you a know? category. Do you want to hang out? Do you want to, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's really, because well there's no, like, one for all. It's, mm -hmm. they're 
keeps amazing people at what they're doing and it's i don't know it's just yeah lots of favorites. i think that is a solid <laughs> answer absolutely um okay uh final question of the interview it should be kind of an easy one for you bringing back to your memories of sandbox uh, what are some of the best experiences that you've had that brings you back to, you know, doing things like this? Uh, what brings you back to Sandbox all the time? <clears throat> um, I think when it came to building was when I first showed a map and just the wow of everybody, like, oh, they really like it. Like, mm -hmm. um. I think that was just kind of gave me a little high, like, yes, I want more of that. And then you kind of get like, now I want to show everybody and I need to feel this again. And it's yeah. it's so addicting. Um, <laughs> funniest moment, though. Oh, my gosh. There's been like so <laughs> back in the beta. Poor Brian. It was hilarious. He had been in. He had just joined. And I'm like, OK, I'm going to join you here in a little bit. I was working with some people, helping him out. Mm hmm. And I'm like, I'm going to come find you. And so I find him his first time in the beta about an hour in. And I get in there and he's with somebody else that may have been odd. So and they're they've got random stuff all over the place, but they're using jump pads to get around. And I'm just I'm dying laughing. And I'm like, <laughs> Brian, do you not know that you can? toggle your flying <laughs> and he's like what <laughs> oh <laughs> for an hour he had been placing <laughs> jump pads all around this place and it was really high up he was building stuff and for an and hour he, he had just been placing jump there. pads but yes <laughs> he was like i don't know how people are enjoying this like how do you do this <laughs> uh yeah Man, it, I, I got mean, a good laugh out of that. That's a good memory. And <laughs> wow, now if anybody runs into Brian, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> we all know yeah. now. <laughs> oh, that's that great. great. <laughs> well, mm -hmm. it sounds like you've made a lot of really great relationships. Uh, you have built mm -hmm. quite a network to help you with beautiful things like this. And uh, will we be seeing a lot more of you in Sandbox? Yeah, definitely. As okay. long as I have friends in here and, you know, ideas that come my way that I really want to go with. Yeah. Definitely. Well, I'm excited to see mm -hmm. what you come up with. Um, it's been so enjoyable to uh, motion through all of these interviews with you builders. But uh, you in particular, thank you so much for your Taffy time underscore today. Dragon and thank underscore you for all VR. your creativity that you're adding to the Said. game. 100%. I will mention yeah. it to him. <laughs> oh, oh, the Taffy Dragon says 100%. He's going to mention it to him. <laughs> it's a happening. Do that. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, for now, we are going to say thank you and farewell to Tiffins. Thank you so much for your time. I can't wait to see, hopefully, hopefully see the Alice in Wonder Wonderland theme. Uh, sandbox game i hope you come up with that map and we can explore it at some point in the future mm -hmm. um and uh thank you for all your builds and we will see you another time very soon yeah thanks bye yeah have a good one bye tiffins mm -hmm. see ya Thank you for joining my tipsy tricksy takeover. Taffy underscore dragon underscore VR. Another great builder. Um, Said. Great sense of humor too. Loved it. Awesome um, interview, guys. Right? Uh, that felt really uh, very natural. It was very easy to go through. And uh, I like her idea. So very excited about those as well. You guys are blowing me away with your ideas, uh, behind the scenes information and uh, just builder knowledge in general. If you guys are interested in Sandbox or you weren't before, but you are getting there now, uh, feel free to join the Population One Discord. There's a builder section in there. You guys are welcome to join in there, even if you are a very beginner and uh, you wanna get started, I would recommend reaching out. So for now, Let's see here. We're going to send you on to one of our uh, Population One players. Uh, make sure you guys pop in, check out the content. 
say hello, follow if you're not following. I hope you guys enjoy uh, some, uh, let's see here, we'll go adult humor today. We're going to go for Hater 1981. Uh, hope you guys enjoy the show. Come back tomorrow for my next interview. See you guys. Catch you on the flip side. Have a good one. And thank you for coming out on Facebook as well. Uh, you guys are special to me. Um, and uh, thank you so much for those likes and those shares on that platform as well. Bye, guys.